My name is Greg Ashaw. I'm the baseball expert for ProfessorIt.com. I have over 20 years experience in the sport of baseball, and most recently I was playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers organization. If you're looking for some good fundamentals and training, this is going to be a great DVD and video for you guys. Enjoy the show. everyone today we're going to be going over the pitching fundamentals and right here as you can see we have Zach here throwing behind us Zach is starting off with what we call the hip drill importantly in pitching we need to make sure that we're using our entire lower half when we throw the baseball incorporating some of our drills that we worked on before Zach is going to have a good throwing position working on keeping his front elbow up and over the top to keep that front side closed and most importantly the reason why it's called the hip drill is as you can see Zach is starting with his feet already spread it should be as spread as if he had already taken a step in his throw. What he's going to do is rock forward, rock back, use his hips, turn and throw. The main part is we want Zach's hips turning completely towards the catcher as he throws the baseball. Very nice, Zach. Other things that we want to make sure that we're watching is his front elbow needs to be coming up and over and driving right into his shoulder area. That will make sure the ball gets out in front and it has correct release point. If we do that combined with a proper hip action, that should maximize our effort and velocity. Okay guys, now that we've worked on the main fundamentals of our throwing, basically our front side and our back throwing position, we've also worked on our hips and our legs working in cooperation with our mechanics, now we want to work on the main difference between regular throwing and pitching, which is a leg lift and bounce. The main thing that we have to be able to do in order to throw a max amount of strikes is bounce. The only way that we can properly get to the same release point over and over again and repeat the same mechanics is to have efficient balance. The three balance points that we want to work on are A, when our leg is at the top or apex of its lift, about right here. The second balance point is straight down without going forward, almost touching the ground. And we want to try and hold this balance point without our weight going forward. If my weight starts to go forward, that's when we start to drift. What that means is, is we don't want our weight to land all the way forward. And our third balance point, where we want to try and step away from our body, we want to try and step with our weight closer to our back side. We don't want our weight to then go forward, because now we're losing all of our power off of our back and drive leg. We need to go from one to two, step out away from our body, three. From there, three, we want to try and step out as if we're testing the water in our pool with our weight back. This right there will give our arm enough time to get all the way up so it's now in a point where it can reach its full extension and all the way out to its target. Also, when we keep our weight back, it keeps most of our weight on our back leg, which is our drive leg. This is the leg that allows us to really be able to use our hips and efficiently use our entire body when throwing. As we can see up here, Zach is going to pause at one, two, and then on three, throw the pitch. But on number three, he wants to try and step out with his weight back, or what we like to say, step away from the body. As we can see here, we have Zach stopping each balance point. We want to reiterate that each balance point is important. We do not want them to stop in a game situation or we do not want them to stop in a bullpen setting. This is strictly a drill and for them to work on their balance. The best way to think about how this incorporates into their regular motion is to think about a metronome when you're listening to music. We can have a very slow beat or we can turn that beat up a little bit. So right now we have a very slow beat. The only thing we want them to think about in the game is that it's going to keep the same steady beat, just a little bit faster without stopping, nice and smooth through the motion. Zach, let's see one, two, and three here without stopping, pal. Very good. That's how we do a one, two, three balance drill. 